Hello everyone. So book number seven is complete. For this I went back to the Divine Dance by Richard Rohr which I started as book number three but have since been on a couple of tangents, important tangents nonetheless. That said it is a book which probably is not well suited to a single sitting anyway. Now it's very different from the sorts of books I would normally go for it's uh, certainly not a book which just imparts information for me to learn. This book isn't like that. It's not about learning something new. It's about painting pictures that might help us experience something afresh that we already know deep within ourselves. To that end, finishing it shortly before I go off to walk the Northumberland coastal path next week is very timely. It's a book to ponder and embrace. Now Richard Raw introduces the key image of the book, The Divine Dance, when he writes, Whatever is going on in God is a flow, a radical relatedness, a perfect communion between three, a circle dance of love. And he goes on to say, God is not just a dancer, but the dance itself. And within this image, Raw then goes to say that God wants us to participate and experience this circle dance of love for ourselves. He writes that the way of Jesus is an invitation to a Trinitarian way of living, of loving and relating. Or he expresses it this way, a partner in the divine dance is someone who agrees to stand in the mutual relationship that God is. We are a partner in the divine dance. Now within the pictures that Richard Raw paints, he's not afraid to take the image of the divine dance of love to some of its logical but challenging confusions. Within this circle dance of love, for instance, he has no space for the wrath of God or penal substitution among other things but ultimately this is a book that encourages us to reflect to meditate to experience and indeed to participate in the divine dance ourselves this book ends with seven spiritual practices to help us on this journey but to be honest i've not really got past the first one yet as I've continued to reflect on all that it shares. Now the first practice that he shares is certainly not a radical new practice. It's one that's been practiced and used by billions of people throughout history. It is simply the sign of the cross. Using three fingers as in the Eastern tradition, it is simply the prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. But Raw is helping me to think about this symbolic prayer, not only as a shielding and an honouring of the body itself, but also as a renaming and even a reclaiming of the self in a different identity. Try it for yourself, slowly and repeatedly. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.